Good evening, my fellow SAT FICO students. Um, what I wanted to do this evening is I wanted to process an invoice and a payment with VAT, that's value added tax. Uh, the first thing that you have to do if you want to process an invoice with VAT is you need to make sure that the general ledger is actually set up for VAT. So we're going to go into our status bar and we're going to type FS00. So that will bring us up into our general ledger. So what we want to do is we want to check the sales general ledgers because basically you have to put all of the sales generation general ledgers for a plus VAT. I only have one sales general ledger, so that's pretty easy. What you can do is we'll just set it up to change it. But then basically you come over here to the tab that says control area where it says tax category. And you're going to put a plus, And that plus is going to mean that you set up for output tax only. Now, on all of the purchase general ledgers, which I'm not going to go into in this presentation, you would need to set in the tax category uh, for a minus, which would mean that you would be set up for input tax, but we're not going to discuss that in this presentation. So, there, so I've saved it, even though there was nothing really to save. Then you go back into your SAP Easy Access screen because that is the only place where you can enter transaction codes. And we're going to process an invoice using VAT. So you're going to type in FB70 so you can call up the invoices. We're going to use the company called Renee. And I'm going to call up a customer that I was working on this morning. So this is a customer I was working on this morning. Uh, the amount is going to be £1,200. We can say calculate tax. The general ledger account is going to be the sales, the sales, the one sales general ledger account that I have set up. The amount is going to be one two hundred. Come over here to tax code, and it's going to be output tax, and it's going to be twenty percent. We're going to use twenty percent VAT. Uh, so what we could do is if you come over here to the tab that says tax, uh, it says tax document currency, it says zero, uh, but it should in theory, it should in theory be 200 pounds, which is what is in the tax document currency, because I clicked onto the button that said calculate tax. Go back to the tab that says basic data. Click on to simulate button. The simulate button lets you know that you're going to be sending an invoice to Cindy O for £1,200. One thousand of it is going to be in sales and two hundred is going to be in tax. So we we're going to post it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go through and we want to check to make the her account. So we in the status bar in the SAP Easy Access screen, we're going to type FD10 in for a customer. We're going to go back to the customer that says Cindy. Okay, 
Okay, so that customer that says Cindy, it says that it's a balance of 1,200 pounds. And it says right there, when you clicked on to it, it said that you sent her an invoice for 1,200 pounds, but it hasn't cleared because you haven't received a payment in for it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to process the payment for tax. So in the SAP Easy Access screen, you're going to type in S-28. That will take you into incoming payment. We'll type in today's date. The company code is Renee. The currency is GUP. The account is going to go into the bank, so that's going to be A1000. The amount is going to be one, uh, 1200. The customer account is going to be Cindy. So we've got that clicked, and then what we would do is we will process open items and then we would just press post to post the item. So then what we will do is we will go back into the SAP Easy Access screen and we'll check the account FD10N to check the account and we're going to make sure that this is the account for Cindy. And we'll click on the little clock and we'll see that the balance has cleared and if you want to double click on that then when you double click on that you will see that the balance has in fact cleared